Welcome to the brand new Draymond Green Show YouTube channel. Hit subscribe so you don't miss out on any of our content. Speaking of James Johnson, uh, <laughs> probably the most feared man in the NBA. Definitely. <laughs> I've seen him in actions for real, so. I was just about to <laughs> like, say, have you, like, like, have you ever seen him get at somebody? Yeah, I've seen him. So that's why when people be like, oh, it's a story, is it? Bro, I've seen this in real life. Y'all do not want that, bro. I tell everybody, I've seen him knock out three dudes at one time, I've seen him knock out seven footer. I ain't seen it all. Like, he not nothing to play with, bro. <laughs> and he get into a kickboxing stance. So, like, you know, you about to fight somebody, you square up. He he pulling his pants up kickboxing style. Like, I'm like, nah. And I remember one time I told him, like, I don't care. You're going to have to show me. Mm -hmm. That whole day in practice, bro, I was sitting there thinking, like, if this, <laughs> hey, if this dude really showed me, bro, <laughs> I ain't going to make it home, bro. I'm going to have to, I'm gonna have to do something different, bro. I'm going to have to go to the store. <laughs> And get some, because this ain't going to work. His hands is different, bro. That's, that's hilarious, man. I, are y'all still close today? I know yeah. he in, he in, he been in with the Pacers yeah, last year. Yeah, that's my God. We, I don't see him as much, because you know he, you know how the NBA is. Absolutely. I'm chilling. He moving around. But that's my God. When I see him, it's my brother, bro. We we did so much in school and been together, man. And he the nicest dude in the world, mm -hmm. bro. he would give you a shirt off his back. And uh, how you treat people is unbelievable. But when it, it when he turn on that switch to be the black belt, James Johnson, bro, nobody wants that, bro. <laughs> and I've seen videos of his whole family, his whole family black belts. Really? Oh, uh, from the pops. His mom, she's Samoa. Like they, their whole family is lethal. Okay, bro. this is all starting to make yeah, sense. Yeah. <laughs> so his whole family, I think it's got like it's like six of them, right? Uh -huh. Brothers. He got videos. His dad beating his legs with like wood to keep him. Like, but they got their feet up six inches, beating his legs with wood. So when you see James, his legs is massive and super strong, but it's for kickboxing. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, nah, he different, bro. Yeah. Somebody trying, bro. I'm telling y'all. <laughs> I just want somebody to try. Y'all see, bro, it's crazy. It's it, what, what is also crazy is what he does for that team, mm -hmm. no one will ever know. And I know what he does for the team because playing against them young dudes, yeah. the demeanor they carry yeah. is almost as such a like, y'all ain't going to do nothing. Yeah. And it's as such, like, if you know, you know why. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> like, big bro right there. <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So they out there, they just playing mm -hmm. free as hell mm -hmm. and ultimately knowing like, Ain't nobody gonna mess with us. Yeah. And and it allows them to just ball. It allows them to just play free, which is their style, their, which is their brand of basketball. Yeah. And when they didn't bring him in initially last year, I was like, they don't have their enforcer. Yeah. It's gonna look a lot different. I'm not sure. I probably should know. I don't know who the hell's the general manager of the Indiana Pacers. Pritchard. Oh, KP. he's still there? Yeah, KP's still there. Wow, I didn't know he was still there. Okay, Kevin Pritchard. I did not know he was still there. He realized really quick, mm -hmm. we should get him back in that here. That Milwaukee situation, they said, yeah, got to bring JJ back yeah. for sure. But that's how I was in college, bro. Our freshman year, they kept calling me Mike Conley when I came to Wake Forest, the football players. And they used to, it would piss me off. Like, he like, yo, they's like, Mike Conley, what's up? And I'm like, bro, don't call me Mike Conley, bro. And JJ, we we ain't really know each other yet. He was like, you calling Mike Conley again, I'm going to knock you out. But then nobody know who, that he had this kickboxing resume. And we like, I'm like, damn, bro, right on. He like, nah, bro, I'm tired of hearing him say that, bro. He said it again, I'm going to knock him out. And the, you know, football players like, well, show me. James like, come on. Football players like, we just talking shit, bro. We cool, bro. And then somebody told him, like one of the uh, coaches was like, hey, bro, leave him alone. He not who y'all think he is. And everybody like, what'd he do? And the coaches started telling him, like, bro, you're kickboxing. And so we didn't know either. So we had a meeting as a team. This dude had a kickboxing match set up while we in college. <laughs> no, this is real true. The true story. Yeah, I told y'all plenty of time. The coach has to sit us down and tell us, like, yo, are you going to be a kickboxer or a basketball player? He like, I need some money. He like, damn. Oh, are you about to go fight <laughs> for money? I'm like, oh, I'm not fucking with this dude. Hey, you're different, bro. I'm like, you about to really go fight? He's like, yeah, I'm, I think he was like 10-0 and 0 or something. He had a record already. He was just like, yeah, I'm like 10-0 and 0 in kickboxing. 
No, I need some extra money around here. He had a match set up, bro. He had a, he chose basketball though, but it's, it's crazy. It was what the fourth pick in the draft, the sixth he pick went in 16. the draft, sixteen. I went nineteen. In the draft. He went sixteen. Yeah. And he wanted to kickbox, bro. I'm telling you, that's what he said he was gonna do when he retired. From it's a much better life being a basketball player. Oh, way better. <laughs> he but he, kickbox. he said after he retired, he's gonna be a kickboxer. He's gonna go back. You ain't seen him talk crazy to John Jones. Oh. I know he's not doing that, but John Jones is different. Yeah. JJ, I love you to death. I don't, listen, I don't know that that's a different world. I don't want no smoke with either one of y'all, but <laughs> he said he wanted to fight John Jones. I'm like, all right. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want, I'm, I'm cool on that too. <laughs> yeah. I'm cool, bro. I'm cool on that. You know the beautiful thing about being a sports fan? There's only like two days the whole year without a game. Two. With so much happening and so much action, that makes just about every day game day at DraftKings Sportsbook. It's super easy for first-timers to get started. Try betting on something simple like picking a team to win. Go to the DraftKings Sportsbook app, select your team, and place your first bet. It really couldn't be any easier or any simpler. Baseball, golf, UFC, there's something for every fan of every sport to bet on DraftKings. And I know it's early, but football season will be here before you know it. And the Kansas City Chiefs are currently the favorite to win the Super Bowl on DraftKings at plus 550. And if you're new to DraftKings, you got to check this out. New customers bet $5 and get 150 in bonus bets instantly. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now and use code HOOPS. That's H-O-O-P-S. That's code HOOPS for new customers to get 150 in bonus bets instantly when you bet just $5. Only on DraftKings, the crown is yours. 